if you guys play my team and you're sick and tired of opening packs that you never get any players that you want from, I recommend just going to goldar.com and using the code NS for a discount to purchase MT and just buying the player that you wanted from the packs. Goldar is a cheap and reliable company that will give you your MT. It's an amazing site, man. Use NS for a discount and let's get on to the video. Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back today. It's time for something big. It's time for a new MyGM series with the one and only Indiana Pacers. It was the team that you guys voted for. And uh, what I plan to do is uh, I plan to, hopefully, if all goes well, I plan to play about a season with the Pacers, Indiana Pacers. And then I can relocate after this season or maybe two years from now. I don't know yet. I'll have to, you know, talk it over with you guys. So what you guys want to just comment down below actually in this video um, in the comment section comment down below should I relocate the Indiana Pacers after this year or should I do it two years from now but uh yeah let's advance actually let's look, let's look at the team roster man PG this boy this man PG is the monster you guys already know I'm a huge fan of Paul George I made a mix on Paul George like two weeks ago if you guys want to go check it out it's on the channel CJ Miles this boy CJ Miles this guy right here, he is some cheese. Look at this, man. 90 shot three, are you serious right now? 85 mid range is looking good as well. Monte Ellis, he, he might be a guy that I, I look to trade. I mean, he can't really shoot all that well from downtown. He is a six foot three shooting guy. He is undersized now, which, you know, throughout his career, he could, he could kind of get away with it. But since he's like, how old is he, 29 now, and he's not as quick as he used to be. I mean, he's still all right. Like, he's not bad, but his defense is lacking. Um, I don't know, man. He's just, I mean, acceleration's pretty good right there, but uh, lateral quickness and speed, it's not its not looking too high for uh, Monte Ellis, and he's not having a great year this year either, so um, he might be a guy that I look to trade, but we'll see what happens. And then we also got Miles Turner. This guy, Miles Turner, he's been a little injured this year, but I like Miles Turner. He's a big man, 6'11", that can shoot mid-range and a little bit of that three ball. Um, obviously, as he progresses through the NBA, he might be able to do that a little bit better. But uh, he's a big man that, you know, he can hit his free throws, his standing dunks looking all right. Um, I saw in the first couple of games of this uh, of this year, his offensive rebounding isn't too good, but his defense is all right, uh, defensive rebounding. And then the defense is... It's okay. Block is at an 85, which is really good. Like, I remember at the start of this year, this man, Miles Turner, was blocking heaps of shots, so that was kind of cool to see. But let's get into it. We're choosing the Indiana Pacers as our new MyGM series, so that should be good. And I promise to you guys, um, you're going to see in this series, it's gonna. I'm going to go throwback Nick Smith. I'm going to go Miami Heat MyGM series. Uh, I'm going to go Phoenix Suns MyGM series. I'm just going to make it an unrealistic my gem series. Not completely unrealistic, all right? So for all the guys that don't want to be, don't want me to get Durant, LeBron, Chris Paul, Melo on the old, on the same team, I, I'm not going to do that, man. In this year, it's actually kind of hard to do that. Um, my gem is kind of hard this year, but anyway, it's not going to be completely unrealistic. It's just going to be like a fun series where if I see a nice trade, I'm going to make that trade. All right, I'm a straight shooter, and I tell you like it is, here's what I'm expecting from you this season. Let me be clear, I don't respect this honesty. If you make a promise to a player, you best keep your word. Okay. What did I just say? Okay. Uh, I will say uh, I might accomplish that. Mm. I, I will accomplish that. I will, I will accomplish that. Uh, morale above a 60. I might accomplish that. I don't know. Like, if a, guy, if a player wants to be traded, I don't know if automatically his morale goes down. I think it does. So I'm just going to say maybe. Um, 28 is the max number of losses I'm willing to accept. Um, I guess you could say we're kind of a rebuilding team. Although we have a... I don't know, because we have Paul George. And he's like a superstar. Like, he's a really, really good player. He's running for MVP this year. I mean, this boy, Paul George, is a monster. So, I don't know. Um, 28, though. Hmm... I, I might accomplish that. I, I don't know if, we, if we're if we going to go rebuild mode and try and get some picks or if we're going to go for a championship this year. I don't know, man. Um, we need a big three. I expect you to get us one. Okay, I will accomplish that. I'll try and get a big three. That's something I want to do. Like, that's... 
for all the guys who want to see a realistic My Jam series, if the owner tells me I gotta get a big three, then I'm gonna go get a big three. Um, budget, obviously I can't even change that, so yeah, let's just get it started. This is already going on for like four minutes, so uh, load and download draft class. If you guys want to get a draft class and you want to find the best draft class, I recommend using Embrace the Pace. His draft class is really, really good. Uh, I don't even know why I did that, because you can't even see like... I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm pointing at the TV, but you guys can't see the TV, so it's just stupid if I point. Um, but anyway, Embrace the Pace. His draft class is, uh, is pretty good, so I recommend you guys uh, definitely uh, definitely download that one if you guys are starting a new My Gym series. And also, if you're new to this, if you're new to the channel, if this is the first video that you've watched, definitely hit that subscribe button. I post my career with the Carmelo Anthony My Career series. I post my team. That's kind of my funny videos. I uh, I try to make the my team ones a little funny, a little more um, enjoyable to watch. The my GM ones, they're just relaxed time. You know, you sit back, make some trades, play some games. That's all fun. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the channel. Leave a like on the video if you guys want to see the next episode. Of, oh, I'm not done, but if you guys want to see the next episode of this series, let's see if we can reach 600 likes for the next episode immediately. So, yeah. Um, let's look at our roster. I know, I know kind of what the roster looks like, um, but I, I kind of have a plan in place, and we can't have this man, Lavoy Allen, starting a power forward. He's a, he's a good backup, all right? I'll give you that. But he's a 69 overall starting a power forward, and the reason is... We got no power forwards, apart from Rakeem Christmas, but you know, this this man Rakeem Christmas, I don't, yeah, is it Rakeem Christmas? I think it is, um, 65 overall, so he doesn't get any minutes on this squad, so yeah, we're going to go after a power forward, that's something that we're going to have to look after um, throughout the next couple of episodes, I probably, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a trade in this episode, maybe a small trade, I don't know. Um, then in the next episode, I'm going to play a game, the first game, which is up against the Raptors, See how the players play. So I'll just see how the team runs. See who I like, who I don't like. If I want to make anyone, you know, on the trade block, I'll make some trades in the next episode after that. So yeah. Um, first of all, let's go to free agents. Any free agents I want to look after? Um, look after? Yeah, that's that's not really what I'm trying to say. Any free agents that I'm looking towards getting is probably what I'm trying to say. Larry Sanders. I mean... He's a great player in 2K, don't get me wrong. How's this defense looking? 94 block, man, he hasn't lost any of his touch in 2K. Ray Allen, I mean, I don't think we need a Ray Allen. Imagine getting Jermaine O'Neal back on the, comment down below, do you want me to get Jermaine O'Neal back on the Indiana Pacers? For those that don't know, maybe you weren't watching NBA, or I don't know, maybe you just didn't know. This man, Jermaine O'Neal, he was a monster for the Pacers, averaging, you know, 24 points, eight rebounds, um, two blocks. I mean, this guy in uh, 04-05, pretty good player. I mean, that was his best season, I think. But he was a great player when he played for Indiana. Um, and he was actually all right when he played for Miami. Uh, but, I I mean, he had a pretty good field goal percentage in that year as well, actually. So. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. I probably won't even get... Did I see Danny Granger down there as well? Imagine bringing back Jermaine O'Neal and Danny Granger. I mean, these guys aren't good in 2K anymore, so I don't know if I really want to get them, but 80 shot three is not bad. Um, PG used to back up Danny Granger, and now Danny Granger might back up PG. So comment down below if you guys want me to uh, get Danny Granger or Jermaine O'Neal back. It'd just be kind of nuts. I don't even know. All right, so I guess we're going to have to go for, after a power forward, I think. Let's have a look at some power forwards. Obviously, Anthony Davis. Do you want to offer me? Nah, okay. <laughs> Davis is a monster now, but you, you know in 2K they're not they're not gonna offer you Anthony Davis. So uh, let's go after some power forwards that you know maybe are reasonably easy to get. Carl Anthony Towns, I would hope so, but yeah, I know he's a beast, so I, I don't think I'd be able to get Carl Anthony Towns. Um, this man Draymond Green, he's balling in real life. He is killing it. Oh, Steph Curry is killing it as well. Clay Thompson, he's, he's actually started to play a little bit better compared to how they uh, played at the start of the year, but anyway. Um, hmm, power forwards. Who's a power... I mean, I would have gone after Tristan Thompson at the start of the year, but look at his contract now. Five year, $82 million. I don't know if I want that kind of cap space. Like, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to fill up the cap space because if, you, if you're going to free agency, you've got some really good players this year. So, um... Yeah, um, 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 I kind of want a young power forward. I want a young power forward. 
but the power forward position is kind of weak in the NBA. I just realized that, man. The, I mean, Kristaps, that would be kind of nice, but obviously the Knicks aren't going to offer me Kristaps for things. I just did on my GM series with the Lakers, so I don't really want to get Julius Randle again. Um, Thaddeus Young, maybe. I mean, I, I like my boy Thaddeus Young. They want me to give up Miles Turner. I, I like Miles Turner. I want to. I want to keep him. Like he might not get many minutes this year, just because of how our center position looks. Like if we go to our roster and we go to our center position, we got Hill and Mahimi, and then we got Miles Turner. I might have to get rid of Mahimi actually, just because I want to run Miles Turner at backup center. But I mean, we can always just run him at the third string, and then maybe next year. Um, he might get some more minutes. I mean, we'll just see what happens with that. Um, so I was up to the Nets. Um, Thomas Robinson, what's his stats looking like? I mean, he might be wanting a starting power forward position. Um, 84 close, that's okay, I guess. 79 driving and 70 standing dunk. He's 6'10". Um, what's his rebounding looking like? Pretty good rebounding. For a power forward, his defense isn't looking too good, and his block's only a 58, so I guess I'll come back to that. Kenneth Fareed, four year, $50 million. Um, I like Kenneth, like he's a 80, 92 standing layer, which is pretty good. And what's his dunk looking like? 80 standing dunk, 75 drive. I like the Manimal, I'm a pretty big fan of the Manimal. I got some friends that go for the Denver Nuggets, so, um, you know. I kind of always get to hear about the man and how he's been playing, but his defense is actually kind of good in 2K. 80 pick and roll defense isn't bad. Uh, block is only at a 61, but he's only a 6 foot 8 power forward, so you don't expect that. Let's look at Kenneth Fareed, see if maybe we can get Kenneth Fareed as a big player to, to uh, get on this team. We're being offered some pretty good, like, I, I'm not going to get rid of CJ Miles, but Kenneth Fareed is only a 2 star. Let's let's oh, let's try and get Cam Fareed. Um, and this New York Knicks pick. It's only one and a half. St Yo, I'm go I'm I'm going after this boy Cam Fareed and the pick. Okay, we'll give up. Mm. You know this when Paul George was injured, Solomon Hill stepped it up. I, I'm not even gonna lie, but his stats to aren't. They're not really very good in 2K. Yeah, they're, they're kind of weak. I don't know. I mean, I, I saw him throw it down a couple times um, last year, but he's only got a 39 driving dunk, so I, I don't know about Solomon Hill this year. I think 2K kind of underestimated Solomon Hill, but um, we lose a... Mm, yeah, we only have one power forward, actually. Oh, no, we've got two. Rakeem Christmas. All right. Let's... let's Ronnie Stuckey, because he's a shooting guard that has a... He has a two-year, $40 million contract, which is kind of heavy for a team that is looking to, I guess, kind of rebuild. And since we have CJ Miles and Monte Ellis, where is Stuck where's Stucky going to fit this year? I don't know. I mean, we could either get rid of Monte Ellis or CJ Miles, uh, or, or uh, what's his name, Ronnie Stucky. So I, I kind of like Monte, but he has a really big contract for what he will produce, I think. So I guess we'll have to see what happens. Um, Mahimi? And why wouldn't the trade go through? The Nuggets would have too many players. Alright. So, there is some good players, I know that, for the for the Denver Nuggets. Um, Gary Harris is a... 85 shot 3 for Gary Harris. Um, what's his defense looking like? I think he's a pretty good defender, right? It's alright. Um, uh, 79 on-ball defense is alright. Will Barton? I know this guy's got some crazy dunking ability. Um... It's only a 71? Damn, they, they underestimated Will Barton's dunks in this game, but uh, I reckon with the new update that will come out eventually, um, he'll, get some, he'll get some pretty good dunks. Uh, not dunks, he'll get some pretty good update to the dunk. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Um, let's offer, let's uh, give them some picks as well. 2017 paces, 2019 paces, and let's see what they say. They don't want that. How about... A second round pick as well. And another second round pick? Yeah, I, I, I didn't think they were going to take that. Um, maybe not Gary Harris. Maybe I'll take Mike Miller. Just because he has a really good three-point shot as well. 
And he's only on... Is he, What's his contract looking like? I hope it's on a one-year... Yeah, it's only on a one-year deal. What about this? And I won't give up my 2017 one. And I'll throw in a second round pick. Another second round pick. They don't like that. They don't like that. Um. Hmm. You know what? Instead of 2018, how about a... Oh, crap. What did I just do? Did I just get rid of... Yeah, I got rid of Ronnie Sucky. Um. I'll give you a 20... What if I gave you my 2016 first round pick? 2016 first round pick for a 2016 first round pick. I think that's reasonable. We're giving up three, four, four and a half. They're giving up three, four, four and a half as well. Let's see what they say. What about some sec... Surely if we give up some second round picks, they'll agree to it. I think, I think we can get away with it. I guess not, man. I guess not. Um... So we'll offer another, we'll offer a, another first round pick, the 2019 one, and some second round picks as well. Oh man, I don't think I don't think. Okay, I didn't think they were gonna do this trade. That those second round picks, boy, those, those second round picks come in handy. Damn, I didn't think that trade was gonna go through. So, uh, simply business. That's great right there. So I will take that. That's a great first start to the series. That's the first trade done. We, what was the end result? We traded Yamahimi, Stucky, and our 2016 first round pick, along with just a bunch of second round picks. That You know, second round picks in the draft, I don't use those picks, so it's kind of okay. They're only really used for trade value. And then we get Kenneth Reed, a Knicks first round pick, which I think will go up in value because a lot of the time in in 2k the Knicks always seem to do kind of bad along with the Wizards so I actually try and get the Wizards first round pick in like a couple of episodes and then we get Mike Miller just a one year contract can shoot the three ball can leave after this year we'll see what happens with Mike Miller but 87 three ball I mean that's that's nice he can hit that three so I'll take that and we got a we got a starting power forward which now we can run our Lavoy Allen off the bench, which is awesome. That's a great start to the series. So yeah, we got our starting power forward, which is awesome. Um, we're going to improve his mid-range throughout this year as well, because um, his mid-range is at a 64. Hopefully we can get that up to a 70. If he can shoot that mid-range, that will be really good. Because because we got that, we got a pretty nice shooting team with uh, CJ Miles at a 90, Paul George at a 90. I mean, we just have... We just have three balls for days, man, with uh, CJ Miles and Paul George. But, um, yeah, in the next episode, I'm going to be playing the first game of the season um, up against the Toronto Raptors. You know we're going to be using those throwback jerseys. I mean, both teams has really not, have really, really good throwback jerseys. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please, if you guys want to leave that like, I appreciate all the love and support that you guys have shown on the series. Thank you for 36,000 subscribers as well. Um, I'll definitely start to upload more of this series. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new, subscribe. If you want to see some more, leave some likes on the video. And I'm out. Peace.